Hello everybody and welcome back to the Simpax YouTube channel. We just dropped a brand new VFX pack, 16 millimeters. It's got cool film overlays, cool grunge effects, and tons of lens burns and tons of stuff like that. And of course, we're dropping a free version of the pack that I'm gonna be showcasing today. There's also a full version, but you don't need to get that if you don't want to. So let's jump right into how to get that pack. All you gotta do is head on over to cinepacks.com, click on the free pack section, and from there, add whatever pack you want into your cart. We're gonna be using the 60 millimeter one today. Now, all you gotta do is enter your information. None of that is used, the store just requires that, but it will lead you to your free pack as soon as you click download. All right, so I've already downloaded and unzipped and I've imported all the assets into DaVinci Resolve. So here's all the free assets included in this pack. As you can see, I've made some, some cuts over some certain points in the music. So let's go ahead and actually spice this up with our overlays here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is let's add a grain overlay. So just drag this right on top. And with this, all you gotta do is come over to your inspector and set the compositing mode to overlay, which is down here, overlay. And as you can see, you got some cool little grain going on there and it looks pretty nice. So that's a good little starting point. Now, uh, the next thing I wanna do is add our burner transition. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that like right here. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. Let's put it right here. And we're gonna set this blend mode to, this is where you can experiment a little bit. You can do like an add here. So if I go right over this cut, press uh, the comma and period keys to shift this around. That way I get it at its brightest point right on the cut. It looks really good, I like it that way. Of course, you can know, also take this, bring it into the color page, and go ahead and just throw this hue slider all around, and as you can see, you can change the color to whatever you want. But I'm not gonna do that today, I like the pink. So, if I change the compositing mode to this overlay to, I believe it is color, it's gonna take the color of the uh, it's gonna take the color of the color burn and then drop the color of everything else. So you get this really cool kind of saturation effect where the color burn adds this really cool flare to this black and white image. However, I want the rest of everything else to be black and white as well. So there's multiple ways to do this and a little bit of a messy way here, just sticking with the compositing mode that we already have going on, is to go into your effects, open up generators and grab a solid color. Now it's automatically gonna be black when you bring it in. So if you change this compositing mode into the settings to color as well, which should be, where's color? Color, color is gonna be at top to color, you're gonna get a cool black and white footage as well. So hold down Alt to duplicate this and now it is black and white on both sides. And there you go. Now you got a cool edit like that. All right, so let's continue on. Now for this one, I added a bunch of cool hole punch effects. So if I just bring this in, all I did here was experiment with different compositing modes. Let's do something like darker color here. And if I pr play that, as you can see, all it does is just does a really harsh hole punch on top of our footage here. So if I duplicate that by holding down Alt and dragging this out, click on that, I can use my period and uh, comma keys to duplicate that and move it around. We can change the second one to maybe something like difference. And as you can see, difference, that like, I believe, I don't know, uh, it might like, divide and multiply the, the luminance values or something around that of each pixel. Uh, I can't quite remember. However, it looks cool and that's all that matters. So uh, we go ahead and play that through. I like how that looks. Uh, let's go ahead and add in a, a few of the sound effects as well here. So uh, if I go ahead and grab this one right here, if we play that, it's pretty good. It's a nice sound effect, but I really like with this particular sound effect in particular, I like to modify it a little bit. So let's drag this down here and I'm going to align it right over our edit. Uh, let's let's just go frame by frame there. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the pitch. I'm gonna bring this down. I am absolutely no audio engineer, but sometimes if you just mess around with things, you'll get something that you like. 
I kind of like that. It doesn't even sound like a film anymore, but it's kind of fun. Um, what I did also go into was the equalizer. I remember in my last one. If I turn the equalizer on, for those of you that uh, don't know how to use an equalizer, uh, these are basically the different frequencies of your audio. So this is your harsher and higher pitched uh, frequencies in the, your audio, and this is the lower uh, frequencies, like a drum or bass or something. Uh, so obviously this uh, click in the beginning, well, it doesn't sound like a click anymore because we've changed the pitch, but that click is obviously a higher frequency. So if I grab this and I pull that frequency down, this is basically how loud this frequency is. So if I drag it down just a tad, that means that that like click is going to be a little bit less loud. If I go like this, for example, you can see you don't even hear the click. However, we're just gonna go right here and I kind of like I kind of like how that looks. Perfect. Okay, so we'll go ahead and leave that how it is. And is there anything else I wanted to do? The frame, obviously. Now this is transparent. All you got to do is drag it right on top of everything, and you're done. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything else. Look, it's perfect. Literally nothing else. It's done. Now. If you've seen any of my other DaVinci Resolve tutorials here, I always end up making a title sequence with one of these uh, lens flares or uh, film burns or whatever. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go over to our effects, titles, just a basic text title here. And we're just going to we're just going to type in same thing as I did in the, the example, which is 16, 16 millimeter. All right, cool. Let's give it a cool, uh, cool font right around here. I'm just, I'm just going over. Ah, there we go. Perfect. That's what I used last time. Okay. So if I bring the size up a little bit, put it right there. Okay. So what we're going to do, spam more compositing modes with our, our blur here. So as you can see, that starts really cool. I really like how that looks. However, let's go ahead and change this compositing mode to something like add again. So as you can see, everything's kind of flaring together and we'll just kind of overlap this a little bit more. Let's go even more. Perfect. Okay, now the cool thing that I want to do here is I want to actually duplicate this this burn effect here. And as you can see, as it's duplicated, we can maybe change it to something like I don't think it really matters what this is. All I'm doing is starting to overlap a ton of different footage with a ton of different compositing modes. However, what I really like to do and where the magic comes for me is if I click uh, control B and cut this text text uh, track in half, now I can take this section and I can change the compositing mode of this one. So click on the settings, go into the composite mode and change it to something like, I think soft light is pretty fun. Yeah, so I just set it to soft light and if I go frame by frame, you can see how it interacts with the blend mode, uh, with the uh, burn really cool. If I remove this bottom layer, and make the background black, I want you to look at this frame by frame. Look how sick this looks. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Um, and what I'd love to do is duplicate this again. Let's cut it a little bit, move it over a few frames, and let's set it for a few frames. Let's set the composite mode to difference. And if we go frame by frame, you'll see how cool that looks too. So if I just probably play this by, its, by itself, Look at that. That's such a cool reveal. I love it a lot. Um, obviously, if I put this clip back onto on top of it, it kind of uh, changes a little bit how it reveals because there's color behind it that it's blending with, as you can see. So it doesn't kind of do that cool reveal like this. It shows the whole thing all at once. But I think both ways, it still looks really cool. And there you go. Now you got a cool text reveal. All right, guys, so the fold pack is paid. However, it comes with a lot of cool assets that you can do a lot more with uh, in terms of like the free pack. You can do a lot with the free pack and you know, like I said, it's completely free. However, if you're more interested, we can go through all of these things. So you definitely have, we'll start at the top here. Obviously there's more grain types, slightly different. Eh, not, not too much to, to look at here. It's always nice to have variations here, but you definitely have a lot more frame choices as you can see. So you can kind of like overlay it in different ways. Uh, there's like these different, uh, kind of frames that you can put your footage into with multiple footage if you crop it and place it incorrectly. Uh, there's some pretty neat stuff. Obviously overlays. So this is just kind of stuff that you can just 
throw in the middle of your music video and your clips uh, to just kind of spice it up a little bit. Uh, film burns, obviously that's more of just light transitions and different variations that you can mess with. Uh, more sound effects, obviously. You can hear, hear different ones. Like there's a flickering one um, and like a... Alpha transitions, which is uh, pretty different. I will show you how you can use these in some unique ways. And of course, some more uh, punch hole transitions, which we saw a few of those in the free pack, uh, but obviously there's more in the full pack. So let's go ahead and edit together uh, something very similar to this right here, which is the, the test edit that I've already made. So let's go ahead and recreate this right now. Okay, so we're gonna click our in point, here's our out point, and we'll just drag in this as a starting point. So, if I, perfect. Okay, so it starts by him kind of swinging in here. So I'm gonna start with one of the film burns here. Just drag it right on top. Whoa, that's a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, we'll go with maybe this one right here. Press play, oh, I like that, that looks nice. Okay, so obviously grab this. Let's turn this back to transform. So let's grab this and composite mode at, perfect. We got a cool little flash. Oh, I like how that looks, okay, cool. Um, so we'll start with that and then let's put a frame over it and we have one of our cool whole frames here. So this is featured a lot in some of our other videos. So if you press that, there you go. Look, that one lines up perfectly. I don't have to cut or do anything with that. So that's super nice. I believe in my last one, I kind of worked with a bunch of whole, um, sort of like punch, punching hole effects. So I believe that is in our alpha transitions. Yeah, here you go. As you can see, here's like an alpha punch hole effect. So if we just click this, look at that, that's pretty cool. I like that. Let's move it around a little bit, see what happens. Um, I wanna grab one where, let's grab this one. There we go, that's a little more faster paced. Okay, so if I go through that frame by frame, you can see you have a hole and it kind of pops around to different angles. That's pretty cool, I like that a lot. All right, so as he's doing that, we can also go into like one of our uh, overlays here, grab one of the codec overlays, and there we go. Now it's looking cool. Okay, perfect. And then we can just keep throwing more and more on top of it. This is literally what I did last time. I just, I just threw like a ton on it. I'm gonna slice this one up because these are all 4K assets and I'm working uh, 1080p because I like low resolution because then I can scale my 4K assets in it. So don't judge me. Um, so there we go, perfect. I like how that looks. And then especially like you get these grunge effects. That's what I was, I had fun messing with. So if I, I literally, that, that's literally all I did. I just spammed it all together. And I like how it looks. It's fun, it's really fun to mess with. And what I like to do here is use this frame, which is, let's go to our frames, where's frames, there it is. This three point frame. So if I drag this frame here, we can cut to this point here and let's duplicate this footage. So if we drag this footage out, and let's click, uh, let's go to this edit point and click control B to make a cut here. Now what I can do is we want to first crop this as a circle. So take this footage, take it into the color page, make sure you have the right one selected, which is this one. And all you gotta do is go to your, your masks, click circle here, scale it. There we go. And right click, add alpha output. And as soon as we drag our alpha output to that point, as you can see, it crops it. And now we have a mask. So if we go back to the edit page, and if I duplicate this by holding down Alt and duplicating it three times, if you look closely now, it doesn't overlap. There's no black bars or black area. It's masked out, which is super cool because now all I gotta do, move it around, pop it into each circle here. We'll be super messy with it because this is a tutorial and it doesn't need to be perfect. Put one right there, scale it up. Last one, scale it down, put it right there. Perfect, and if I press play, there we go. Very nice, I like it. Uh, so if I grab like one of these here and I right click on this and I change it to something like uh, difference. This is where you get something super wacky and then grab another one, maybe something that's more gray, like this. 
and drag it on. Now I can now I can change the blend mode of these two. Let's just do that to like difference and see what happens. There you go. I like that little flash. Okay, so final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use the alpha transitions. So if you wanted to do something like this, this is where it overlaps before the actual edit occurs. So I'm going to grab this clip for example here, and I'm going to sort of line it up. So it's over this clip. So it basically will cover the last clip. And what we're going to do is we're going to add an alpha channel so it can basically pop up with one of our um, overlays here. So sorry, I explained that really bad. Let, let me show you how it's done. So grab this, go into Fusion, and we're going to take our clip here, and we're going to use one of our uh, assets as a mask. So let's go to our media pool. Let's go to our alpha transitions, and we're going to grab, let's grab one of these like alpha sprockets here. Um, I like this one right here. So we're going to drag this in, and we're going to use it as a mask. So grab it, drag it into the mask, then click on our media in clip here and go over to our settings and for the channel make sure it's set to alpha and i'm personally going to invert this mask because i want her to show up inside the sprocket so if we press play now you'll see that it makes a mask and now this area is transparent and it looks really cool so if we go back into our edit page here for the first few seconds look at that if i go frame by frame it pops in and you can see it's covering the old edit so maybe i'll extend the old edit out here move it back and we'll just press play there you go cool all right and then maybe we can finish up by putting a frame over it i liked this red one because everything in the scene is red and then on top of that uh, maybe it'll be a little messy, but nobody will notice. Um, if you open this up, you can see that there is two kind of lines on the top and the bottom. That is so you can duplicate this clip if you want to. So maybe I'll do that. I'll hold this down. I'll duplicate this out to like two points here. And I will drag one copy up <clears throat> and one copy down. However, they're they're underneath this clip. So... Maybe I need to, we'll scroll up higher. We've got a lot, we've got a lot of layers going on here, don't we? Let me drag, drag this up two layers and put it right there. And if you see what I just did, I go to full screen. Now, uh, there are two clips on the top and the bottom and it makes it a little, look a little bit more like a sprocket, sorry. There's the edit. All right, perfect. And it looks like a film strip. You know, there's multiple clips in sequence on the strip and it looks a lot better that way. Just a little extra finesse to make your edit look cool. So if you guys like this, keep your eye out for more Cinepax tutorials, plenty of free packs, and make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more information and tutorials. So have a good time editing, guys. Go make something epic and hope to hear from you soon. Bye, guys.